Good evening, Michael Morris. How are you doing? Good evening, Denise. I'm doing very well. Thanks. Thanks so much for joining us. And uh, what a fun week of getting to know you. It was, uh, yeah, I'm absolutely loving to know. First of all, we have to talk about Enzo there sitting on your lap. <laughs> hey, man. He's a big, a big distraction. Oh, he's gorgeous. He's the only reason you really want me to do this. Let's be <laughs> yeah, we were missing a bit of uh, dog love around. <laughs> yeah, totally. Yeah. So do you bring him into work with you every day? I used to bring him in every day. Okay. Um, then because of like toxicity in the air with, you know, chemicals and all that kind of stuff, um, I stopped. Yeah. Uh, my, my studio isn't so toxic anymore, but I, I leave my home now for a few hours. Um, you know, he needs a break from it. So. So, yeah, I mean, I, I, just talking about your, the, your different mediums, because I feel like I've known you for so long. Like, you've always been a painter, haven't you? I mean, it's, you it's started, been, at like, what, tw nearly 20 years ago, am I right? Yeah, it's probably closing in on it, yeah. It, like, <laughs> the time is creeping by. I'm, I think it's about 16 or something like that. Wow. Um, yeah, I mean, I, I sort of became professional when I was about 25. Um, and I hate to say I'm 41 now. So. Wow, gosh. So did you did you always know that that's what you wanted to be? Did you did you go to our college? No, I did a year of our college. No, um, originally my main uh, obsession was uh, music, um, and it's still it, I still have both. I, music and painting for me are my two loves, um, and it's not fella. Um, um, so I wanted to get into film score, film scores and stuff like that, you know, as well as my own music. Uh, and my painting was a hobby, you know. So I, I used to paint all the time, but um, yeah, I mean, it was only when I was 25, my mum, uh, who's a professional artist as well, yeah, yeah. she me to, to put them into galleries and to, you know, try and see if I could sell them. I, yeah, because I, like, I remember like on the, in the last gallery in Francis Street, I had at one stage I had your mom, your dad and you in the gallery at the same right. time. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So you, you really do come from such a creative family. Yeah, we do, I suppose, you know, or maybe not very academic. I don't, I don't know. Depends how you <laughs> And so what music do you play? What Are you in a band or? I write electronic music, you know? Okay. Yeah, so a lot, mostly solo stuff. I've been in a couple of bands over the years, but I prefer to work alone. So the same with painting. I just, I've always gravitated towards that and I'm very sort of, I'm a control freak, really. Mm -hmm. uh, and yeah, I like to be in charge of everything. I sort of get completely obsessed with whatever art I'm doing, you know? Mm -hmm enveloped by it and other people are distraction for them. so if you had to pick one thing what would it be music or art i couldn't just pick <laughs> there's no no chance no absolutely not like I, i've i've even wanted to do a solo show where i create the ambient music for the gallery as well to yeah. which yeah. The painting you know because I, I paint classical music and, and then I post them on Instagram with the piece I painted it to. And oh, there, wow. for me, there's a correlation, you know, and yeah. it influences the other. And, uh, yeah, I love them. That, that was your music in the in the video that, that you showed, you sent us, is it? Yeah, I wrote that especially for us. Oh, it's really, really good. Yeah, that's amazing. Yeah, it's really yeah. catchy, actually. <laughs> yeah, I think it, it adds something to us. Yeah, it's a catchy little number, yeah. Definitely. Yeah, no, it was brilliant. So where, so where are you based? Your studio's in Terenure, isn't it? Yeah, it's in Harold's Cross. Yeah. Harold's Cross, okay. Yeah, home studios, yeah. And you've always been there, have you? No, this is my third studio now in the last probably decade. Oh, okay. Uh, the first one was Moxie, um, just off Baggett Street. Oh, yeah, I remember now. Uh, OPW building, which then got turned into apartment. Oh. Then I was in Mock T in Smithfield, um, and then that got shut down. 
So I was just about to ask, yeah, what happened to that? Because I was in that a few times. That was an amazing space. It was great. Yeah, my, a mate yeah. of mine, Islam, ran, ran it. So yes, yeah, um, it was it was a cool place. But I think they just developed it. You know, I mean, the whole thing. It's it's, it's like Temple Bar in the eighties. It's like I was just about to say, yeah, um, that's what happened. No buildings, yeah. but then when the recession lifts, I mean, mm -hmm. you know, they want proper money. So, so that's, art, yeah. that's kind of that. so. <laughs> well, you know, creative people will just move on to the next spot. We're very good at adapting. <laughs> we like no words, yeah. So how has lockdown been for you? I mean, did you still go into your studio? Is it walking distance from your house or uh it's it's not quite I, I took the first month off because it was like just over two kilometers away from my house. <laughs> I, you know, I wasn't sure and da da da. But then yeah. after the first month, actually, it was okay. And uh, yeah. I've been really lucky. I mean, I've been able to keep working, um, mm -hmm. you know, the whole time uh, and just focusing on my painting. And I, I suppose I'm always really focused on it. You know, we work five, six days a week at it. But right. maybe there was an extra bit of focus because, like, you literally have nothing else to do. <laughs> Yeah, and did you find? I know a lot of our other artists were experimenting with new new mediums and new ideas. Did you find that as well? Because this this new work is quite different to uh, the body of work we had the last time, isn't it? Yeah, I personally am always experimenting mm -hmm. um, extensively with with uh, mediums and you know surfaces and tools, and I've probably spent. I think when I was early on in my career, I landed on something which was very, I just sort of hit, hit something really good. But I got to a point where I felt I wanted to expand my skills. Mm. So I've spent like the last 10 years probably just experimenting. As well as painting, it's it's all been experimenting. So my, my style has shifted a lot throughout that time. Oh, absolutely, yeah. It's actually been lovely to see your journey because... You know, your 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 kind of trademark as well at the at the start was the Portobello cottages, yeah, um, mm. and the houses. I mean, everybody wanted them. So yeah. I love this new work you're at now. The light in in the landscape. It, I mean, are they based on anywhere in particular, or? Yeah, they're based on Irish landscapes, but there is a lot of, um, you know, I'm not being so literal with them. I, I suppose I, I have a vision for them now, you know, and with this work, I really like it. Um, I sort of chisel away at them, you know, and and they sort of emerge from, there's a lot of scumbling involved with my knife and there's a lot of brushwork as well, but um, the process for me is really enjoyable, you know. Um, there's an element of discovery in them. Um, mm, I can and, see also, that. But, and also, the light, you know, that's what I've learned throughout the years is mm. like, like how the light falls on things and how, how it affects everything. So, yeah, really, really happy with this work. So, do, do you, Matt, do you always have a few pieces on the go at once? I mean, do you? Uh, I suppose I do. Yeah. Um, yeah. You know, I, I won't be like, yeah, I mean, I, yeah, a bunch. <laughs> Are you I'm good? Not really, I know. I'm not really at the moment. So, I like, I have. Tons of canvases over there. Two, yeah. two, I've got three there that I'm working on. I've okay. got a bunch of, uh, of frames there, which just got dropped in earlier. So, yeah. And is it, is it always oils? Nowadays, yeah. I, when I started 15, 16 years ago, it was acrylics. Um, and then probably for the last 10 years, it's been all oils, yeah. Okay. So how was that changed? Did it, did, was it a big change to move from acrylics to oils or did you find it just easy yeah i mean every change is is unusual at the start you know i yeah uh, it was i struggled a bit at the first and um, i found that my paintings were much more dull than my acrylics had been because I, i'd had years of experience with the acrylics you know that yeah. way i could sort of do them without thinking but with with oils they were a lot more flexible but that also means that there's a lot more options and that can lead to complication as well and confusion so it, it takes a while but yeah you know that's that's why i spent the last 10 years experimenting with it because mm. like 
do you know you want to find exactly what you, you want out of them yeah yeah the finish you want my new work is like has this lovely matte finish which i've never done before and it has a sort of a nearly a chalky element to it mm -hmm. that sort of a uh, for me to figure out you know it's all good though yeah yeah no it's fantastic yeah and you know um what do you, i was expecting to see like loads of kind of photographs around the studio as well it's all your references in your in your head no, no, I do have references here. I've got a bunch of rock photos here, um, the coastal ones and stuff. Uh, uh, I used to have a bunch of artists up there. I've got a big Jenny Savile painting up there, a print. Uh, oh, I had a bunch of Key and McLaughlin um, portraits as well. Yeah. Now, um, he was a big influence on me throughout the years and stuff. Right. Uh, I think he just lives around the corner from me. But, so. Oh, wow, brilliant. Yeah. <laughs> So yeah, and how like I presume now you're you know you're you've been such an art an artist for such a long time. So, um, what is what is in the future plans? Are you, have you shows planned ahead, or can you plan ahead in the, at the moment? I don't know. I'm just focusing on my work, and and that's what I always do. To be honest with you, I it's just a constant struggle of like wanting it to be better the whole time, seeing your own flaws, that kind of thing. You know, the usual. Um, so, <laughs> I don't really think about the rest. Um, you know, I'm expanding into to different countries now in the past like year, um, which is nice. Uh, I had a solo show in Florence on Christmas. And, uh, oh. Then, you know, just, it's sort of naturally evolving. I find, yeah. at, at yeah. its place, I think with, the, with my new work as well, I'm, I'm much happier with it. Um, so and things are starting to pick up with it as well. Yeah regard just a, a natural snowball effect mm -hmm. uh, so yeah so you're going to stay with this type of uh landscape work for for the next while anyway oh yeah i've got lots to do with this yeah the last body of work you had it was just full of color so these are definitely more muted aren't they yes, yes they are yeah. Muted. yeah but i think the light is better in them you know yeah so absolutely it's 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 like more about just the light being correct um mm -hmm. There's there's loads of energy in the the strokes and stuff, rather than it just being just about color. You know, mm -hmm. not the work was just about color, but that's the progression from there to here. And tell us about your titles. How how do you title them? I've never been very good with words. <laughs> I'll be honest with you. I've always struggled with titles. My music as well. Um, really? Yeah. I I mean, I prefer to just do the work and be like. You know, people are like, what's it called? And I'm like, oh, no. But it, <laughs> yeah. I called it last week, you know. Um, this this body of work is sort of, has a bit more, you know, something to it that um, there's a lot of musical reference, classical music, musical references in it. And then I have a lot of French followers on Instagram. So I've been speaking French a lot recently. So uh, that evolved into being sort of French titles with classical references I was wondering, yeah. which is like at the start of the day one of the paintings and that there's a like um adagio nocturne which is an evening one and i like that they just sit nicely for me no i think they're good they're great i mean one thing i noticed when with with uh, selling your work over the years when i go out to clients houses they always have your mom's hanging in the house as well and they don't <laughs> realize That's, the connection <laughs> yeah we've had, we've had that happen quite a lot you know, know. <laughs> like no no way yeah i know and when i tell them that you're yeah you're her son they just they're completely blown away by it they they never so obviously kind of you have the same kind of style in some way that you're that people are drawn to i don't know what it is because our work is very different <laughs> <laughs> he's a great artist um very different do you know She's very um, different, yeah, but she's absolutely, yeah, she's brilliant, really good. Yeah, there must be just something, I don't know what it is, maybe it's just a, you know, it's a family thing, I don't know. <laughs> so tell us, are you, uh, do you like doing commissioned work? Because if somebody asked for a, a, a certain area of Ireland, would you do it? I don't like commission work, I'll be know, honest. Not many artists do, it's funny no, how everyone... I can't, I can't <laughs> it, but, I, but I do entertain it, do you know? Okay. Like, and and I, I will do it, but it takes me three times as long because yeah. you're 
there's that anxiety there and you know there's something to be there's something expected of you and they have an idea in their mind and will they be happy will you see their face drop when they see it <laughs> I find that for me that's if I can avoid it I will absolutely yeah it's yeah you kind of need therapy after it if it doesn't go right <laughs> <laughs> yeah yeah I've been lucky so far that I haven't had any car crashes I had one actually <laughs> the one where you won she ended up buying a different painting off me, you know, and I was stuck oh, with this. Right. Painting. Okay, well then that's not too bad. <laughs> I, I, yeah, it was lucky, at least it wasn't a big one. <laughs> Wait, were you always drawing as a child? Did you always have that artistic side yeah. of you? Yeah. Yeah, were yeah you really my mom used to play, play the drums on pots and bands when he really? was like, when he was a kid and he played the piano when he was two, so he, he took off with music literally when he was two like playing the piano so wow. i i was more into visual arts yeah, yeah. wow that's Making amazing it. yeah so i imagine your house is full of art is it is between all your family's paintings hanging on the wall or is it <laughs> well well when i was growing up yeah but our house was like you know it was um real bohemian i suppose my parents had all this like um classical art and period art in these big gilded golden frames and stuff the man stuff they'd find in like you know um antique shops and stuff like that yeah yeah so it was a really unusual house to to grow up in um yeah. myself now i just have my paintings in my house <laughs> um, <laughs> it's not made of anything intense. It's just purely for storage do you know right. i'm like around i bring them home and i'm like i hang them up yeah. um but it's nice because they sort of rotate, you know, naturally. Yeah. As clients and take them, then I have new ones. Well. You know, so. Yeah. So who yeah. is your favourite artist? Who would you admire the most? Oh, that is tricky. Um, I mean, classically, I love Goya, um, Rembrandt, but modern painters as well. Golly. Um, Jeremy Mann. Mm, fabulous incredible absolutely yeah um keen keen mclaughlin amazing as well do you know another irish man there's so many actually isn't there of irish artists that are just yeah yeah i did um a paint cast for youtube the other day with a one of my favorite artists a guy called chris long yeah i love his work yeah he's an amazing painter yeah oh, so we, we did a dual paint cast thing where we both paint the same subject at the same time over Skype. Wow. Um, he was painting in his car. He's a, he's How a does that work? You pick a, do you pick a landscape or an yeah, area? Yeah, yeah. Pick a photo and then wow. we, we just do it over Skype and I'm That's here. That's cool. I mean, Ars well, yeah. South Carolina or something like that. So, wow. Yeah. But I mean, he's, he's a guy I really admire as well. So, That's I was. Yeah, and like you wouldn't have thought of doing that only for lockdown. So, in, yeah, I think I I don't know if he started doing that before lockdown. Maybe yeah. he did. Do you know? But it's an interesting idea. That's so. And how long do you have to do it? Like, does is there time for it? We had an hour from start to finish. Not like not to the second, but it was like yeah. roughly an hour till we're oh. finished. You know, well. we can move pretty fast when we want to, especially on a small piece like that. Oh, is it on your Instagram? I must check that out. I'd love to yeah, see there's it. a link to it on my Instagram and his, um, and then it's on YouTube as well. If you search Paintcast on YouTube, you'll see. Yeah. Oh, that's brilliant! I mm. love that idea. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Michael, listen, thank you so much. This was absolutely brilliant. It was so nice to chat to you, mm. and uh, yeah, always discover new things about you as well. <laughs> I love that. Hey, thanks, brilliant for having me. Thank you. So good. He's. <laughs> He's the perfect dog. Just I, feel, I feel like a Bond villain. <laughs> well, thank you so much. And uh, stay safe and well. And uh, My pleasure and likewise. Bye. Okay, see you.